Hello, my name is Steve Taylor and today I'm going to show you one of Anaplan's new applications, Financial Consolidation. Financial Consolidation has been designed to make it easy and immediate to consolidate your books, to perform all the tasks that a financial controller has to perform, for example, intercompany reconciliation, uh, aggregation, journaling, and also to get full access in real time to the financial statements you need to get from the financial consolidation process. So the beauty of Anaplan is that we can make something that goes beyond the traditional consolidation tools. With our real-time in-memory capabilities, we can design something that's easy to use for the business user. We can integrate with the operational plans that you need to rely on. So you don't just use the consolidated numbers in isolation, but they can integrate with your plans and forecasts. It's a controlled environment, so all of the checks and balances that you need to have in place to ensure your numbers make sense are within the logic of Anaplan. And it's fully compliant with both IFRS and GAAP. With Anaplan, we're able to deliver something that's immediate, powerful and connected. It's immediate because in real time you can pull the data in from your different books, from the different entities. You can see the results in real time and you can match intercompany balances to try and reconcile where you have imbalances in real time visually on screen. And it's very easy to set up. You can take the application and one of our customers that I worked with recently has done it within a morning. They have implemented Anaplan, set it up for financial consolidation within a morning. It's powerful. We've got a full set of data here across all of the entities, across our full suite of financial statements. So you can see everything that you need to see. It's connected. So you can have each of the entities that you have to reconcile, that you have to pull into the consolidated numbers. You can have them accessing Anaplan. You can give people a view into your world, into how the numbers are coming together. So we're going to go through a very quick demonstration of the power of the Anaplan financial consolidation application. We're going to go through three stages that a typical financial process might involve uh, at the month end. We're going to close the books. We're going to perform some intercompany reconciliation. And we're going to review some of the consolidated financial reports that are available. So here, from my tiled opening screen in Anaplan, I'm going to jump straight in to our financial consolidation application. And I'm looking at the consolidation dashboard, which is my entry point as a financial controller for the Stockton company. This is my view of the whole world. I can see what's going on, where and when. I can see where things are running smoothly and I can see where we've perhaps got some log jams. We've got some controls that haven't been passed. And I can use this screen to dive down into those controls, see which entities are causing the problems and very quickly solve those problems. I can see up here that I'm looking at December 13, so I'm closing the books for the end of year. And looking down here in the first of my four stages of financial consolidation, I can see that data acquisition has got most of the controls are okay, but here in the dark blue, I've got one control which is still in progress, which has failed. Let's go in to look at which part of my organization is causing that problem. And here in the world view, I can see everything at a glance. I can see all the countries that we operate in. Looking there, I can see that Europe seems to be the problem. We've got everything green apart from Europe. So let's focus in on the Europe view of the world. And in here, Germany, the Netherlands seem to be doing okay, but France is my main concern. Let's go and have a look at France. And when I click on it, I can see this progress bar at the top here tells me initialization has been done, the import has been done, data entry has been done, but we've got some controls that have failed. In fact, down here, it shows me exactly what those controls are. Check total assets and total equity and liabilities on the balance sheet. Okay, so I now know what I need to go and solve. And we can add in whatever financial or business dictated rules you need to have to control your processes. But let's go into the entity dashboard and try and solve the problems we have with the France data. So this dashboard is what a financial controller within one of the entities would see when they first came into the application. They'd get a full view of what's going on with their part of the process, data acquisition and intercompany reconciliation. What we're gonna do in here is we're gonna take this and we're gonna go and look at the problems there. So we can see we've got some problems around the controls there and it was around the assets not matching up to liabilities. 
So let's go in and have a look at our balance sheet assets. All easily accessible from the dashboard. And looking through our chart of accounts here, I can see when I get to the bottom of that, highlighted in red, or very pale red in this case, uh, we can see the total isn't correct. That red indicates that there's an imbalance there. If I look at the other side of the equation, let's go back to the entity dashboard, and we'll have a look at the balance sheet equities and liabilities. And in there we have the same problem, again, the total's red. So it's 324 at the end there, and it's 325 at the end here. In my little demo example, rather simply, it's just a rounding error or a currency translation error. I'm going to take the quick and easy solution here. Now, I could go back into the Entity Dashboard and enter a journal for this, but I'm just going to very quickly uh, create a, a manual adjustment for that of minus one. And that's fixed the problem. I can see my grand total is no longer red. And if I come out of the balance sheet assets, I can see that my problems have all gone away in the Entity Dashboard and things are much more easy to move along now. And in there, if we have a look at assets movement analysis, I can see for DemoCore France, the entity we're working with, I can see the opening balance, I can see what the closing balance was and all the steps that we went through to get to that. So where we've got disposal of assets or depreciation, that's separated out so I can see it. And I can also see any manual adjustments I've made. If I scroll down here, we can see that minus one that I put against cash and cash equivalent a couple of minutes ago. Okay, so we have full visibility and we can view across not only the chart of accounts and entities, but across all the different data sets or stages. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back there and we're going to look at the intercompany reconciliation. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in and look at intercompany reconciliation for the income statement. So again, we're working as the financial controller for Democor France, and I can see all of the intercompany transactions that have taken place between Democor France and its partners. So we have a few partners we work with in Democor France, UK, Germany, and Japan. And I can see here in the revenue account, we've got a difference between what we stated and what our partner, the UK, stated. It looks to me a little bit like a currency rounding translate, currency rounding problem. So I'm going to go in there and we're going to address that there. We can see we've got an imbalance. Okay, so if I focus in on Democore UK, we've said 111442. They've said a slightly different value in pounds. So we've got a rounding error of 21 there. So what I could do, I could go in again, I could go and do a journaling entry for that. But for the sake of speed, I'm just going to go in and look at the intercompany analysis and do a manual adjustment to deal with that. So if I come in here to Democore UK, and I'll put a minus 21 manual adjustment in there. And there we go, that's fixed the problem. I no longer have an imbalance. If I come back to my entity dashboard, again on the second stage of the financial consolidation, I can see that everything's gone green on the intercompany reconciliation. Okay, so we've now gone through and we've solved one of our intercompany problems there. We're ready to move ahead with this. I've completed my work as Democore France, so all that remains for me to do is to close this down. I'm going to mark my work as complete. So on the home screen, I'm going to go to my part in the workflow, Democore France, and mark that as complete. And that will make all of my data read-only from now on, so that I can't go back in and change things after the fact. Okay, so let's come back to the high-level view of the world. I'm now going to look at some of the reports that are available through the financial consolidation application. And in there, the one that really strikes me is the consolidated balance sheet. We've been looking a lot at the income statement. Let's take a quick look at the balance sheet. And because it's fully integrated, so your balance sheet and cash flow and your income statement are all connected, we can see in here again, we can see the opening balance. We can see all the adjustments that are made to that. And we end up with a closing balance by account. And if I wish to review it across the structure, I could focus in on one of the entities there. Let's go for Democore UK, as we've been using France so far. Okay, so it's very easy to get a full view of your data just by slicing and dicing. Let's go back to looking at the income statement, just to keep with our story so far. So look at this consolidated income statement. I can see, again, I can see my year-to-date value for what we're looking at, Democore UK. I can see the monthly value. I can, because we're at the end of the year, the year-to-date monthly value are the same. I can see that converted into my consolidation currency, which in this case is euros. But that's very easy to change. 
I can see the integrated amount, which in the case of uh, of the UK isn't the same as the, the full value. Let's go and look into that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change that there. Just by undocking that, I can put it to the right hand side of the screen. And on the consolidation dashboard, I'm just going to open up the consolidation scope. And again, I'm going to just pull that across to the left hand side of the screen. So I can see here that Democore UK, we've got a proportional consolidation for that. We can see that we only consolidate 50% of it. Because Anaplan allows us to do real time what ifing and changes, then I can go in and change that. Let's see what the numbers will look like if I change that to full consolidation. And now if I come across to there, I can see that the integrated amount is now the full value of the year to date. So it's very easy to adjust things on the fly and see the impact of that. Let's put it back to proportional consolidation. And I'll close down the consolidation scope. So it's very easy to set up your consolidation scope across your organization. Another change we might want to make, let's change the way we view this. I'm not interested so much in the steps from getting to the opening to the closing, but I'd like to see a breakdown by entity of the monthly values. So let's pivot this around. I'm going to click on the little drop down, view and pivot, and I'll put organization onto the columns rather than the line items. And we want to focus on the monthly converted value. So we're looking at the, the euro values that have all been converted into the reporting currency. Okay, so I can see Democor France, UK, Germany there. I'd quite like to see what that's going to look like in pounds because I'm sitting in the UK right now. So I'm thinking in pounds. So let's just put that into pounds for the moment. And with the flick of a button, it's very easy to translate that into my pounds view of the world. Okay, as a final step, Let's go back to consolidation dashboard and just review the breadth. We haven't had time in today, today's little demonstration to show you the full gamut of reports that are available here, but there's a fully functional uh, set of financial reports that you can use. Thank you very much for your time today. Hopefully I've shown you how the Anaplan financial consolidation application allows you to interact with your financial data in real time and speed up the closing of the books and get you back to analysing the numbers rather than checking them and fixing errors. Thank you very much for your time today.